Hey guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. So, if y'all uh, have seen, I've done a video of my lights and siren I have in my personal vehicle. Uh, this is my truck. It's a 2006 F-150. has a V8 motor in it. I believe it's a 5.4 Triton. Um, but I only showed you all the lights and you know what the siren sounded like. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to show you all how I have everything set up. How I have my wires running, all that kind of good stuff. So this is what it looks like from the outside. It looks like a cop car. Got antennas all over the place. So when you jump in the truck, I'm also going to show you what kind of equipment I have in my vehicle, like what I carry for you know, some medical calls and whatnot. So in my door here, I have lint roller, hand sanitizer, a tiny first aid kit that has some basic band-aids and whatnot, a flashlight and a police baton for breaking windows and whatnot. So when you get into the truck, this is what it looks like. You're sitting inside. So if you look to the left, I have my Smith & Wesson handcuffs uh, just for show. Nothing stupid or anything like that. I just like the way they, they look. I think they're awesome. Um, I have a Cobra dash cam. Um, other news, I can now upload videos of my response to the station so prepare for dash cam footage I'm really super excited about that um, up here my visor I have some stuff to hold business cards and a couple pins I use this is my lucky pins is what I always work in ambulance with um, these dash lights uh, everything will be linked in the description of where I bought it from 90% uh, of the stuff is from Amazon so, I mean, it's high quality stuff for, you know, I mean, you pay for what you get, but, you know. In here, I have a taser. You never know when you'll need a taser. You usually just play with it. Another pair of sunglasses, a red polo, some mace. Like I said, you never know. Okay. Um, right here, I have my GoPro, so when I'm going down the road, I can just slap that on my head real fast and jump out and run to the station. So the radio I use is a Kenwood radio. This has all of our channels programmed into it. You can't do that for the willy-nilly heck of it. you got to take this to a special place, have special written permission, and yeah. So um, all my buttons here are labeled, as you see. RD is for radio, UL is for underglow lights, I have underglow lights in the dashboards here. FL for front lights, BL for back lights, SN for siren. So, and a little off and on, so in case someone's in the truck and they actually turn the front lights on, they can like, see, you know, okay, well, this is pointing off. Um, I do run a Gull Street Thunder Siren. Um, I was really in between getting Gulls or a Touchmaster Delta with a scanner. Uh, if I ever get a, like a new vehicle, yeah, I will probably put a Touchmaster in it. I love Gauls, Siren, uh, like our Rescue 95 has. But I'm not the biggest fan of this one, but it still has our Street Thunder. So, that's kind of what I look for, is I love the Street Thunder. Um, over there I got some Survivor, Survivor bracelets. They just sit there just for look. My center console, hairbrush, speaker, just your basic vehicle stuff. I don't have anything in that door slot down there. Now we're jumping into a lot of the medical stuff. I'll also have a pink of stethoscope. That's just for looks and cross and whatnot. Um, here I have ran underneath the seats a uh, the, the two side lights here that are in the windows. Uh, they alternate between red and white. Uh, these are just grill lights that I velcroed and zip tied to the handlebars here. Uh, so I have a full 360 view. And these things actually do a lot more than what you would think. I just have a hoodie right here. It gets cold sometimes at night still. So this is a lot of my main stuff here. This is my first out bag. Um, this thing has everything from uh, blood pressure cuff to CPR masks to uh, just basic band-aids, tourniquets, uh, another stethoscope, uh, big gauze pads. I don't know if there's any quick clot in there or not. But 
right here. I actually have a portable charger that is in my uh, above my uh, in my roof holder there, my sunglass holder, and I can plug this into my portable charger, and I can actually jump start a battery with this if I want to. Pretty cool. Here I have a mag light, and that cloth is wrapped around the mag light to keep it from moving. Here, just have some basic work gloves, um, tire changing stuff, a ratchet strap that's a mess, uh, some do not cross caution tape, Clorox wipes, an umbrella, straw hat because I work outside a lot, and some marmoral glass cleaner because you never know when you'll need that. Uh, right there is where I have two more of my underglow lights. I'll try to, if I remember, I'll do a uh, video of those at night. They alternate. Sometimes, or you can change the flash pattern on them. Nothing emergency related, just something I personally enjoy. So moving on to the other side of the truck, I have used, or I have purchased a Gauls Quick Pro, or I'm not sure what it is, what the name of it's called. I'll link it in the description then once I find it. Uh, it's an organizer for seats. A lot of law enforcement agencies use this. This is very, like, I love this thing. This thing holds the majority of my equipment, um, like I said, it's not all over the place. I have a blanket in here, um, it's a basic blanket. I have some of those, uh, what are them called, like LED road flares, so I can turn these on, I can twist it, turn them on, set them on the ground, and people will see them like a road flare. This is a safety triangle, or a caution triangle, yeah, caution triangle. I like truckers use one on there's the other grill light there um the wiring i did for this really simple just ran it down the seam here and underneath the mat everything is connected um, about like and that's where i fused everything together and so it's nice and snuggle and everything looks good this is my camera bag um, I keep some an extra lens, another camera, some cleaning alcohol wipes, whatnot. So in here, every everybody should have a fire extinguisher they carry. Uh, let's see, it's full. So let's leave that right there. I have some sunscreen because I'm a redhead and I burn like nothing. Every firefighter, EMT, law enforcement officer should have this in their vehicle, no matter where you live. This is an ERG 2016 version, Emergency Response Guidebook. Uh, this book is probably your biggest friend on a hazmat scene or a hazmat situation. This book has every type of liquid or uh, solid or gas that uh, could be transported by any uh, transportational vehicle, such as, you know, if the truck calling ammonia flips on the side of the road. That book will tell you how you need to approach it, you know, and how you should deal with it. It also includes, you know, the health risk, what you should do if you've been exposed to it, the evacuation zone, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so here, this binder, I just have some, I have a list of all of our 10 codes that law enforcement uses in the county. And I have some uh, personal stuff. This is my biggest accomplishment. Uh, this is a mini earl of all the roads in Wark County. Um, this is probably the most useful thing I have that revolves around uh, mapping and whatnot. And here I have just a green vest, a breathalyzer, which is used kind of as a joke, but it's always fun to have. I'll take the sunscreen out. Here I just have a notebook. A uh, notebook was good to keep EMT notes in when I was taking my EMT class. Uh, some duct tape. This is a go girl my friend got me as a joke. But I decided, you know, I might actually, someone might need to be able to use this one day. So uh, a girl can put this up to their uh, vagina and they can pee out of it like a guy standing up. So that's what that is. I have an emergency blanket. Utility rope, not life safety rope, utility rope. Another vest, a raincoat, 
and that's it for the front pocket. I don't know where my other glove went. Um, and here I keep um, some more pens, a flashlight. I don't know what kind of brand this is. Very bright. Um, a pocket knife. And in this pocket, I keep all my uh, black ice uh, car fresheners. I have a bunch of black ice. My truck smells delicious all the time. And here, I have my old radio holster. And I have a traffic control wand, which is just a flashlight with a uh, reddish cone that fits on top of the flashlight. And it lights up as a traffic control wand purchased by Gauls. I'll put a lot of stuff back in a minute. So this is all my, you know, that's all the equipment I carry in my truck. Not every firefighter, ENT, carries that in their vehicles. It's just what I carry. So don't hold anyone liable because they don't have to carry any event. So I'm going to show you all the lights on last good time because I love them. So that's the front. The dash light is set on Knight Rider. Um, and my visor lights are set to split like that. The reason why I don't have the dash light alternating is because my big lights are alternating. So I would like to have something of a light source that is constantly moving and is always lit up if that makes any sense. Because like you can, because then, you know, stop every once in a while. Like, well, they don't stop like they, when they split, that, that one's always moving. They're always moving too, but that one's always lit up. So if that makes any sense. I know it probably doesn't, but. And my grill lights. Um, that grill light, I actually need to change over there. It's screwed up for some It's not screwed up. I just have to change the pattern on it. Kind of does some funky stuff. And I have a traffic advisor right here. Window tent's getting the best of that, but you know, it still does good. So the stickers I have in my back glass. We actually just got these. Um, our ice cream social this year was 80 years of service. We're celebrating 80 years serving our community. Um, I have the West Virginia thin red line there. I have a fire department sticker in the very back glass. And I just put a Nathaniel Texas YouTube sticker on the back the other day. And I'm actually really proud of that. I have a thin blue line with the American flag outlined in the state of West Virginia and another state of West Virginia firefighter one. See, this light does a bunch of weird stuff. Like, I mean, it, it's not set on that the whole time. I mean, it just it just does a bunch of crazy stuff, so. Um, a full cycle of the siren one last time. Um, so, you have your radio, your PA, mic's right here, Kenwood's mic, Kenwood mic is right here. And the manual. Uh, the HF, I'm not sure what that is, but the whale, and the yelp, street thunder, and the two -tone. So, that's what that siren is. Um, if y'all have any questions about uh, stuff that I've purchased or how to hook stuff up, uh, I built the center console myself. I'm very proud of it, not gonna lie, from what my craftsmanship is. I ran a fuse from my fuse box, which is located right there. You can see some of the wiring. I ran the wire to the um, toggle switches. And so these toggle switches is what runs the lights and whatnot. Um, it powers from the toggle switches to the sources. Um, like right here is my visor lights wire. This is my dash cam wire. This is the visor light so yeah that's pretty much that I mean it was a lot of work to hook up and I'm really proud of how it turned out so uh, if y'all have any more questions you know let me know I got some more stickers right here a search and rescue sticker and a red and blue line so I think that's pretty much it if y'all have any more questions or anything I mean feel free to comment don't be shy I will get back to them I see all your all's comments I love when you all interact with my videos and ask me questions you know, about my department. It really does mean a lot. So, I appreciate you all watching. Um, 
Be safe and don't forget to thank a first responder.